Hey class, hi, hello, namaste, adab, sasirakal, assalamu alaikum, wana kam and khamba gani to all of you. Welcome to today's class and uh, as you all know, today we are starting your topic quadrilateral for CBSC 9. Right, so in this session we'll be talking about the types of quadrilaterals. I'll be covering the most of the part that is in this session that I'll tell you the properties of uh, the, the all the quadrilaterals which are here. Okay and uh, then the conditions okay which are required for this so all of these things we are going to discuss today uh, in today's class okay so let us start the class so the first thing which i would like to start with is your quadrilateral right so what is a quadrilateral so a quadrilateral is a closed polygon with four sides four angles four vertices right a quadrilateral has four sides four vertices and four angles got it after that the angle sum property of a quadrilateral that is the sum of four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree the proof of it is very easy suppose if this is a quadrilateral okay this is your quadrilateral a b c d so this is your angle a this is your angle c now what i'll do to prove this i will join any of the diagonal so suppose if i'm joining the diagonal bd so if i join this diagonal bd you can see angle B is being divided in two parts. Let's say angle 1 and angle 2. And angle D also is divided in two parts. Angle 3 and angle 4. Right? So I can clearly say, sir, angle 1 plus angle 2 will be equal to angle B. And angle 3 plus angle 4 will be equal to angle D. Right? So I can say there are two triangles formed. Now we can see clearly that there are two triangles formed. One is triangle ABD, one is triangle BCD. So if I use angle sum property of triangle in triangle ABD, so I can say, sir, in triangle ABD, we have angle A plus angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. Right? This is your first equation. Similarly, in triangle BCD, we have angle 2 plus angle C plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degree that is your second equation right now what we are going to do we are going to add equation 1 and equation 2 we'll be adding equation 1 and equation 2 okay so i have angle a plus angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree and the second equation is let's write it as angle c plus angle 2 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degree so let's add both these equations so we have angle a plus angle C. Angle 1 plus angle 2. Angle 1 plus angle 2 will give you angle B. And angle 3 plus angle 4 will give you angle D is equal to 180 plus 180 is 360 degrees. So you can clearly see angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degree. Right? So for any quadrilateral, for any quadrilateral, the sum of the four interior angles will be 360 degrees and the proof is based on the angle sum property of a triangle got it so this is how you can prove that the sum of four interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree a small proof but important one okay so just practice this part as well because it might come for two marks that prove that sum of the four interior angles of a quadrilateral is uh, 360 degree got it now then let's go for the next part next part is types of quadrilateral so we'll be talking about the special quadrilaterals. So in these special quadrilaterals, we have trapezium, kite, parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, and square. So what is a trapezium? A trapezium is a triangle. A trapezium is a quadrilateral. Just focus the definition. Focus on that carefully. In which one pair of opposite sides are parallel. One pair of opposite sides will be parallel. For example, this is your trapezium in which this side and this side is parallel. Got it? So this will be called a trapezium. Okay? Then what is a kite? Two pair of adjacent sides are equal. So kite is the only quadrilateral which we'll be talking in which the definition we deal with the adjacent sides. So this is your kite. Okay? In which I will say ki, sir, this side and this side. One pair of adjacent sides are equal and the other two pair of adjacent sides are also equal. So two pair of adjacent sides are equal in a kite okay then for parallelogram both pair of opposite sides are parallel what is that 
both pair of opposite sides are parallel so in trapezium you are having only one pair of opposite sides parallel in a parallelogram we will have both the pair of opposite sides parallel to each other so this will be a example of a parallelogram this will be an example of a parallelogram in which both the pair of opposite sides are parallel then what is a rectangle a rectangle is a parallelogram with all four angles as right angles that means a rectangle is a parallelogram because in a rectangle also the opposite sides are parallel as well as equal since i can see here that if i have told rectangle is a parallelogram it will be following all the properties of the parallelogram so a rectangle is this in which all the angles are 90 degree all the angles are equal to each other okay then rhombus is a parallelogram in a rectangle all angles are equal in a rhombus all sides are equal all sides are equal so rhombus is a parallelogram that means the opposite sides are parallel as well as all the sides are also equal all the sides are also equal and then square is a rectangle and also a rhombus that means in a square all the angles are right angle as well as all sides are also equal to each other all sides are also equal to each other so this will be your rectangle this will be your rhombus and this will be your square so these are the types uh, trapezium and kite not that much involved in this class but parallelogram rectangle rhombus and square these four shapes are very important for us got it so if you see the hierarchy so in the special quadrilaterals they go first we have a quadrilateral now there are many types of quadrilateral but if we talk about the special ones so one is your trapezium in which one pair of opposite sides are parallel and the other is your kite in which the adjacent sides are equal two pair of adjacent sides are equal now in trapezium we have told ki one pair of opposite sides are parallel so in parallelogram also if both the pair of opposite sides are parallel i can easily say that the parallelogram is following the definition of trapezium in parallelogram also one pair of opposite sides are parallel dekho the trapezium definition does not say that only one pair it says one pair if more than one pair of opposite sides are parallel no problem still will be a trapezium so the parallelograms comes under trapezium so all the parallelograms are also trapezium all the parallelograms are also trapezium because parallelograms follows the the definition of trapezium that is one pair of opposite sides are parallel okay now under parallelogram we have three more part so under parallelogram comes your rectangle because rectangle is also a parallelogram and rhombus also is a parallelogram rectangle as well as rhombus both are coming under parallelogram as well as they are coming under the trapezium also so i can say all rectangles are trapezium true all rectangles are parallelogram true but if i go opposite all parallelograms are rectangle false because all parallelograms do not follow the definition of rectangle but rectangle is following the definition of parallelogram as well as trapezium in rectangle one pair of opposite sides are parallel yes sir there are it is a trapezium in rectangle both the pair of opposite sides are parallel yes sir that also is followed so it is a so rectangle comes under parallelogram and trapezium rhombus also comes under that now under rectangle and rhombus the final shapes come which is square right so square follows properties of all these special quadrilateral square is the shape which follows the properties of all these special quadrilaterals also square also comes under kite as well because in a square since all the sides are equal i can say this pair of adjacent sides are equal to each other and this pair of adjacent sides are also equal to each other so a square follows all the properties of kite as well so square is the only quadrilateral which follows the property of all these special quadrilaterals so if i give you a question that all square are trapezium true all squares are kite true all squares are parallelogram true all squares are rectangle so upward part if we are moving it will be true if you go down then it will not be true so this is on the base of the definition so this graph is very important you will not find it anywhere in any book or anywhere else so this part is very important to understand that according to the definition which part comes under what so all the parallelograms comes under trapezium 
then under parallelograms we have some rectangles some rhombus and under rectangle and rhombus we have squares as well got it so from here you can clearly see parallelogram will follow all the properties of trapezium rectangle and rhombus will follow all the properties of parallelogram and rectangle and square will follow the properties of all the properties of rectangle rhombus as well as parallelogram ठीक है तो वी विल बी स्टडिंग द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ पैरलोग्राम वॉट एवर विल बी द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ पैरलोग्राम दे विल बी फॉलोड बाय रेक्टेंगल एज वेल एज रॉम्बस दे विल बी फॉलोड बाय रेक्टेंगल एज वेल एज रॉम्बस ऑल्सो द रेक्टेंगल एंड रॉम्बस विल हैव सम एक्स्ट्रा प्रॉपर्टीज सम एक्स्ट्रा प्रॉपर्टीज यू विल सी विद रेक्टेंगल एंड रॉम्बस विच विल नॉट बी प्रेजेंट इन द पैरलोग्राम ठीक है दैट इज वाई दे आर स्पेशल शेप इन साइड दैट so rectangle and rhombus they will have some extra properties that we are also going to discuss rest all the properties of parallelogram will be followed by rectangle and rhombus and then square also will have some extra properties got it so this is how it all is done okay so ab dekho properties of parallelogram to properties of parallelogram kya bolta hai beta a diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles the diagonal of a parallelogram will divide it into two congruent triangles obviously you can prove that ki dekho in triangle adc in triangle adc and triangle in triangle adc and triangle cba theek hai dekho beta first thing i can say ki sir this angle and this angle are equal to each other so angle dac is equal to angle bca because of interior alternate angle because i know the sides are parallel both the pair of opposite sides are parallel right so this and this are interior alternate angle same with this and this angle will also be a interior alternate angle right so i can say that sir angle dca is equal to angle bac again the reason is interior alternate angle and then the side which is holding both the angle ac that is common so ac is equal to ac because it is the common side so you can clearly see by angle side angle rule triangle adc is congruent to triangle cba right if they are congruent if they both are congruent i can clearly say sir first thing ad is equal to bc and ab is equal to cd so first property we have got that opposite sides are equal in a parallelogram then i can say angle b will be equal to angle d angle b is equal to angle d because of the congruency by cpct i am saying all this i am telling by cpct okay so angle b is equal to angle d similarly angle a and angle c will also be equal if i draw the diagonal bd so from here we got to know that opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram got it so this is how you will get the proof for opposite sides are equal and opposite angles are equal for a parallelogram okay so the 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 uh, the properties of parallelogram are opposite sides are equal we have proved it opposite angles are equal we have proved it then adjacent angles are supplementary ab how do i prove adjacent angles are supplementary it is very easy how can i say that dekho beta bahut easy hai for the adjacent angles are supplementary how it can be done look carefully yaar yeah, i know that in a parallelogram the adjacent the opposite sides are parallel right so if the opposite sides are parallel if the opposite sides are parallel suppose this angle and this angle they are parallel to each other so i can clearly say sir angle a and angle d angle a and angle d are representing an interior consecutive angle so angle a plus angle d will be equal to 180 degree because of interior consecutive angle similarly angle b and angle c will also be 180 degree interior consecutive angle if i take ad and bc parallel to each other in that case angle a and angle b will be supplementary angle c and angle d will be supplementary so adjacent angles are supplementary that means their sum will be equal to 180 degree and diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other so diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other 
हाउ डू यू प्रूव इट बहुत ईजी है बेटा बाई टिल नाउ वॉट एवर प्रॉपर्टीज वी हैव नोन सपोज ए बी सी डी इज अ पैरलोग्राम सो ड्रॉ बोथ द डायगनल्स ड्रॉ बोथ दी डायगनल्स ओके अब बेटा देखो आई कैन से कि सर जी वन थिंग दिस एंगल विल बी इक्वल टू दिस एंगल दिस एंगल विल बी इक्वल टू दिस एंगल बिकॉज ऑफ इंटीरियर ऑल्टरनेट एंगल दैट इज दिस पॉइंट ओ ओके सो आई कैन से सर इन ट्राइंगल ए ओ बी एंड ट्राइंगल सी ओ डी बाई वन थिंग एंगल ओ ए बी इज इक्वल टू एंगल ओ सी डी सेकेंड थिंग आई कैन से सर एंगल ओ बी ए इज इक्वल टू एंगल ओ डी सी एंड देन द साइड कंटेनिंग बोथ दी एंगल्स इन बोथ द ट्राइंग बोथ द ट्राइंगल विल बी इक्वल बिकॉज अपोजिट साइड आर इक्वल सो आई कैन से ए बी इज इक्वल टू सी डी right so if it is correct by angle side angle criteria by asa rule i can say triangle aob is sim is congruent to triangle cod and if they are congruent by cpct corresponding parts of the congruent triangles we can say that sir ao is equal to oc and ob is equal to od that means that ao and oc are equal to ao and oc are equal to each other ob and od are equal to each other so you can clearly see both the diagonals are intersecting each other in such a way that they are dividing each other in two equal parts so that is called diagonals bisect each other so the proof of all the properties of the parallelogram we have done over here the proof of all the properties of a parallelogram we have done over here the proofs are very easy just remember ki bhai opposite sides are equal and opposite angles are equal can be proved from this part the diagonals of a parallelogram divides into two congruent triangles simple congruency rule okay and when you have to prove that the diagonals bisect each other draw both the diagonals and take two opposite triangles and make them congruent right so the proof of these these properties of the parallelogram is very easy these comes as two mark question and now the question will be prove that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other or prove that in a parallelogram the opposite sides are equal like that got it so this is how you can easily prove all these properties of the parallelogram now since these are the properties of the parallelogram i have told you very clearly that under the parallelogram comes rectangle rhombus and square so all the properties all the properties which we have got here till now the diagonal divides into two congruent triangles opposite sides are equal opposite angles are equal adjacent angles are supplementary and diagonals bisect each other all these properties of parallelogram are also followed by rhombus rectangle and square and this rhombus rectangle and square they will have some extra properties other than these properties so they will have some extra properties so let us discuss those extra properties let us discuss those extra properties so first let's discuss about rectangle the extra properties of the rectangle dekho i have told you in the definition itself that all angles are right angles hai na that that is the definition a rectangle is a parallelogram in which all angles are right angles so one thing you know that in a rectangle all the angles are right angles hai na in parallelogram only opposite angles are equal in a rectangle all angles are equal in a rectangle all angles are equal theek hai to first thing we know that in a rectangle all angles are equal by definition all angles are equal theek hai the second important property comes is this in rectangle also the diagonals will bisect each other in rectangle also the diagonals will bisect each other but, but the important property is diagonals are equal the important property is what that diagonals are equal theek hai this is the important property that the diagonals are equal okay now let's go for the next part ab dekho if you want to prove that uh, why diagonals are equal you can clearly draw a rectangle okay you can clearly draw a rectangle and draw two diagonals so let's say a 
B, C, D. Okay, so you will see that triangle A, D, B is congruent to triangle A, D, B is congruent to triangle B, C, A. They both will be congruent to each other. How they will be congruent? They are both simple. Hai, beta. AD is equal to BC. Angle A and angle B both are 90 degree. And AB is the common side for both of them. Right? So AD is equal to BC. Angle A is equal to angle B. And AB is the common side. So by side angle side rule, side angle side rule, they will be congruent. And if they are congruent, I can say AC is equal to BD. Right? This is the proof. The proof of the properties are very easy. It will be very easy for you all if you understand ki haan, how do we go for the proof. But remember the properties, they are very important. So for rectangle, all angles are equal and the diagonals are equal. Remember in the rectangle, diagonals are equal. Got it? Now then come to the second part that is for your rhombus. Okay. For rhombus, first thing, according to the definition, According to the definition, we know that all sides are equal. All sides are equal. And then the second thing is diagonals. They go in rhombus, the diagonals are not equal. In parallelogram, also diagonals are not equal. Only in rectangle, we are getting diagonals are equal. In rhombus, also the diagonals are not equal, but diagonals bisect each other. Diagonals bisect each other at 90 degree that means the diagonals of a rhombus the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular to each other okay how do you prove this part again it is very easy suppose if we have a rhombus here okay let's say p q r s let's draw the diagonals so p r and q s will be the diagonals i know all the sides are equal as well as the diagonals also will bisect each other because I have told you the rhombus will follow all the properties the rhombus will follow all the properties of a parallelogram so diagonals will be bisecting each other so let's take any two adjacent triangles okay I will talk about in triangle POS and triangle ROS by one thing PO is equal to OR diagonals bisect each other then ps is equal to sr all the sides are equal and then so is equal to so common side so i can clearly say sir by sss rule triangle pos is congruent to triangle ros and if they are congruent i can clearly say that sir angle pos and ros will be equal to each other angle pos and ros will be equal to each other so let's say this angle if it is equal to x degrees this angle will also be equal to x degrees angle pos is equal to angle ros is e is equal to each other by cpct let's say equal to x okay let us say both are equal to what both are equal to x both are equal to x by cpct since we have proved the triangles to be congruent if they are equal i can clearly say that sir x plus x has to be equal to 180 degree because of linear pair right so i have got 2x is equal to 180 and x is equal to 90 degree that means this angle is 90 degree this angle is also 90 degree so the diagonals are bisecting each other at 90 degree so in parallelogram the angle is not 90 degree in rectangle also the angle is not 90 degree angle could be anything but in rhombus the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degree in rhombus the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degree got it then the third part comes is your square so the square is the shape in which first all sides and all angles are equal because we know in a square all the sides are equal to each other and all the angles are 90 degree the second thing is diagonals are equal 
because since square comes under rectangle so it will follow the properties of rectangle as well and also it will follow the property of rhombus as well that means diagonals bisect each other at 90 degree so these are the extra properties these are the extra properties of the rectangle rhombus and the square and we need to take care of these extra properties okay i have given you the proof for these extra properties as well so these are all the properties of the parallelogram and then whatever are the properties of parallelogram they are also followed by rectangle rhombus and square other than that they have some extra properties so you will see diagonals are equal only in rectangle and square in rhombus parallelogram they are not equal diagonals bisect each other at 90 degree only in rhombus and square in parallelogram and rectangle it could be anything so this graph is very important okay so you can get this idea very easily ki whatever if you remember the properties of rectangle and rhombus you know that all these properties will be followed by a square as well so if i ask you which quadrilateral in which quadrilateral the diagonals are equal as well as they bisect each other at 90 degrees so that will be square got it because it will follow both the properties of rectangle as well as rhombus so that is a very important thing square will follow all the properties of parallelogram rectangle rhombus got it Chal. now some of the questions which are very important in this chapter that is conditions for a quadrilateral they will give you the question like prove that this given quadrilateral is a parallelogram prove that this given quadrilateral is a rhombus prove that this given quadrilateral is a pair is a rectangle all that so how do you prove what will be the conditions so that uh, you can say that a quadrilateral will be a parallelogram okay so one thing is they go one criteria is in a if in a quadrilateral if in a quadrilateral both pair of opposite sides are parallel if you got that both the pair of opposite sides are parallel then quadrilateral will be a parallelogram first thing proof karlo by proof this that both the pair of opposite sides are parallel if you are able to prove that in a quadrilateral both the pair of opposite sides are parallel then you can say it will be a parallelogram second criteria is if in a quadrilateral if in a quadrilateral suppose you are not able to prove enough information is not given to prove both the pair of opposite sides are parallel but if you prove that if in a quadrilateral one pair of opposite sides one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel then quadrilateral will be a parallelogram Okay, Matlab, ki bhai, suppose you were not able to prove that both the you were not able to prove that both the pair of sides are parallel, but if you are able to prove that only one pair is equal and parallel, then also you can say it is a parallelogram. So either prove that both the pair of opposite sides are parallel or or prove that any one pair is equal as well as parallel so in the first part we are only proving both the pairs to be parallel in the second part i want any one pair to be equal and parallel as well to be equal and parallel as well okay one more thing is used but these two are enough okay but one more sometimes for the shortcut part it is also proved that if diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other if diagonals of a quadrilateral are bisecting each other then i can say the quadrilateral is a parallelogram hai na quadrilateral is a parallelogram if diagonals are bisecting then also we can say that the quadrilateral will be a parallelogram so these are the conditions for a quadrilateral to be a parallelogram okay so these notes are i'm telling you beta you are not going to find it anywhere in this form please take a screenshot and these will be very helpful for you when you are solving the questions that prove that this is a parallelogram prove that this is a rectangle prove that this is a rhombus all that okay so these are the conditions any one of these three must be satisfied then you can say a quadrilateral is a parallelogram 
ठीक है सेकेंड पार्ट कम्स इज टू प्रूव अटर टू बी अस तो देखो देर आर टू वे वन इज दैट डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द क्वारिलेटरल यू आर डायरेक्टली प्रूविंग इट टू बी अस तो अगर क्वारिलेटरल टू रॉम्बस इफ यू आर गोइंग इट डायरेक्टली ओके देन यू हैव टू प्रूव दैट ऑल साइड आर इक्वल अगर डायरेक्ट प्रूफ करना यू वॉन्ट टू प्रूव इट डायरेक्टली डायरेक्ट प्रूफ करना तो ये बोल दो ऑल साइड आर इक्वल If you are able to prove that all the sides are equal, done. You have proved that the quadrilateral is a rhombus. Second case, first prove the quadrilateral to be a parallelogram, and then prove that parallelogram to be a rhombus. Right? ठीक है? तो quadrilateral to parallelogram, as I have shown you mentioned here, any of these way prove the quadrilateral to be a parallelogram. Now, how do you go from parallelogram to rhombus? So when you have to prove a parallelogram to be a rhombus, simple thing: if any one pair of adjacent sides are equal. अब देखो ये क्या हो रहा है? भाई, it is very difficult to understand what I am telling you here. For example, there was a quadrilateral and you proved it to be a parallelogram. You have proved it to be a parallelogram. right now if you have to prove that from parallelogram to rhombus and suppose by any calculation you got to know that adjacent pair any one pair of adjacent sides are equal any one pair of adjacent sides are equal to so a b c d suppose by any method you got a b and b c as equal to each other ab beta i know since a b c d is a parallelogram since a b c d is a parallelogram i know opposite sides must be equal तो ए बी एंड सी डी विल बी इक्वल टू इच अदर बी सी एंड ए डी विल बी इक्वल टू इच अदर सो ऑटोमेटिकली ऑल साइड बिकेम इक्वल टू इच अदर राइट सो इफ इन अरलोग्राम इफ इन अरलोग्राम वन पेयर ऑफ एडजस्टेंट साइड आर इक्वल ऑटोमेटिकली ऑल द साइड बिकम इक्वल बिकॉज वी नो दैट दी अपोजिट साइड आर इक्वल इन अरलोग्राम सो इफ अ वन पेयर ऑफ एडजस्टेंट साइड इफ वन पेयर ऑफ adjacent sides are proved equal in the parallelogram we can directly say parallelogram is a rhombus so both the methods are there sometimes directly from quadrilateral to rhombus directly you can prove or step by quadrilateral to parallelogram parallelogram to rhombus got it so this is how we can prove it for rhombus similarly for rectangle for rectangle same method first thing ki bhai quadrilateral to directly you have to go for rectangle तो इफ यू वांट टू प्रूव अ क्वारिलेटरल टू बी अ रेक्टेंगल डायरेक्टली वन मेथड इज प्रूव ऑल एंगल्स आर इक्वल दैट इज 90 डिग्री ठीक है सेकेंड पार्ट इफ यू हैव टू प्रूव फ्रॉम क्वारिलेटरल टू पैरलोग्राम तो यू नो हाउ डू यू प्रूव क्वारिलेटरल टू पैरलोग्राम नाउ व्हेन यू हैव टू प्रूव फ्रॉम पैरलोग्राम टू रेक्टेंगल तो पैरलोग्राम टू रेक्टेंगल हाउ डू यू गो सिंपल थिंग If any one pair or not one pair, if any one angle, ठीक है If any angle, अगर ये प्रूव कर दिया दैट इफ एनी एंगल इफ एनी एंगल ऑफ पैरलोग्राम इज 90 डिग्री अगर कोई भी एनी वन एंगल ऑफ दैट पैरलोग्राम इज 90 डिग्री We can say it will be a rectangle. अब अगेन सोचोगे कि सर फॉर अ रेक्टेंगल वी वॉन्ट ऑल द एंगल्स टू बी नाइंटी डिग्री सो इन अ पेरलोग्राम इफ एनी वन एंगल इज नाइंटी डिग्री हाउ कैन वी से इट विल बी अ रेक्टेंगल है ना तो लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड इट बेटा आई नो इफ आई हैव सपोज अ पेरलोग्राम ए बी सी डी ठीक है इफ आई हैव अ पेरलोग्राम ए बी सी डी आई हैव टोल्ड यू एट द स्टार्टिंग दैट ए बी सी डी इज अ पेरलोग्राम ओके ए बी सी D is a parallelogram and any one angle I have given you as 90 degree. Let us say in which angle A is equal to 90 degree. A bit of I know one thing that opposite angles are equal. So angle A is equal to angle C. So both are 90 degree now. ठीक है two angles have turned to be 90. Then I also know adjacent angles are supplementary. So angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. Since angle A is 90, angle B is also 90 degree. So angle B is also 90 degree now, and we know that angle B and angle D will be equal to each other. So they both also will be 90. So देखो, if one angle of a parallelogram becomes 90, 
ऑटोमेटिकली ऑल एंगल्स बिकम 90 डिग्री ठीक है सो पैरलोग्राम टू रेक्टेंगल इफ यू हैव टू गो इफ यू हैव टू प्रूव अ पैरलोग्राम टू बी अ रेक्टेंगल व्हाट यू विल डू यू विल प्रूव एनी वन एंगल ऑफ दैट पैरलोग्राम टू बी 90 डिग्री टू बी 90 डिग्री ठीक है और अदर पार्ट में ठीक है सो दिस ऑफ मोस्टली दीज आर द कंडीशंस है ना दीज आर द कंडीशंस व्हिच वी विल बी यूजिंग नेक्स्ट पार्ट देखो फॉर अ स्क्वायर अब स्क्वायर के लिए देखो कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ है ना तो फर्स्ट केस इज कि भाई फ्रॉम क्वाड्रिलेटरल गो टू डायरेक्ट स्क्वायर तो उसके लिए यू हैव टू प्रूव बोथ द पार्ट्स ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल एंड ऑल एंगल्स आर इक्वल याद रखना बेटा ओनली इफ यू आर प्रूविंग दैट ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल इट मींस इट विल बी अ रोम्बस बिकॉज फॉर रोम्बस आई हैव टोल्ड यू ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल सो व्हेन आई गेट अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल सो द क्वेश्चन समटाइम्स फॉर द कंफ्यूजन पार्ट कम्स दैट अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल इन व्हिच ऑल द साइड्स आर इक्वल विल बी कॉल्ड इट इज नॉट स्क्वायर इट इज अ रोम्बस फॉर स्क्वायर ऑल साइड्स एज वेल एज ऑल एंगल्स शुड बी इक्वल ऑल साइड्स एज वेल एज ऑल एंगल्स मस्ट बी इक्वल ठीक है तो याद रखना स्क्वायर इज नॉट अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल इन व्हिच ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल नो इफ इन अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल इट विल बी अ रोम्बस फॉर अ स्क्वायर ऑल साइड्स एज वेल एज ऑल एंगल्स मस्ट बी इक्वल नाउ फ्रॉम क्वाड्रिलेटरल टू स्क्वायर देखो दिस इज द डायरेक्ट मेथड इफ वी गो स्टेप बाय स्टेप तो फर्स्ट थिंग वी कैन प्रूव अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल टू बी अ पैरेललोग्राम ठीक है देन यू कैन प्रूव दिस पैरेललोग्राम टू बी अ रेक्टेंगल पैरेलोग्राम को रेक्टेंगल प्रूफ कर दो एंड देन यू कैन गो फ्रॉम रेक्टेंगल टू स्क्वायर इफ यू प्रूव एनी वन पेयर ऑफ एडजेसेंट साइड्स आर इक्वल ये सेम लॉजिक फॉलो होगा पैरेलोग्राम टू रोम्बस वाला सिंस आई प्रूव्ड इट टू बी अ रेक्टेंगल इन अ रेक्टेंगल वी नो ओनली अपोजिट साइड्स आर इक्वल सो इफ एनी वन पेयर ऑफ एडजेसेंट साइड्स आर इक्वल इन अ रेक्टेंगल ऑटोमेटिकली ऑल द साइड्स विल बिकम इक्वल सो ऑलरेडी सिंस इट वाज अ रेक्टेंगल ऑल एंगल्स वर 90 एंड इफ एनी वन पेयर ऑफ एडजेसेंट साइड्स आर इक्वल ऑल द साइड्स आर इक्वल सो ऑल एंगल्स आर इक्वल एज वेल एज ऑल साइड्स आर आल्सो इक्वल सो इट इज अ स्क्वायर ठीक है और यू कैन गो बाय दिस मेथड आल्सो क्वाड्रिलेटरल क्वाड्रिलेटरल टू पैरेललोग्राम वी नो हाउ टू प्रूव इट parallelogram to rhombus so rhombus means all sides are equal we have proved and then we have to go for square to so, yahan pe prove kar do any one angle is 90 degree because in a rhombus if any one angle is 90 degree in a rhombus if any one angle is 90 degree so automatically all the angles will become 90 degree as similar to this hai na automatically all angles will become 90 degree and you can say it will be a square so these are the conditions to prove a parallelogram uh, a quadrilateral to be a parallelogram a quadrilateral to be a rhombus a quadrilateral to be a square a rectangle as well as a quadrilateral to be a square got it so take a screenshot of all these pages very important it will make your revisions very quick if you understand these points your revision will be very quick and you will have this approach to think about these questions you will have an approach to think about these questions got it chalo now let's focus at some of the questions okay so the first question we have that if the diagonals of a parallelogram are equal then show it is a rectangle so what the question has given question has given me a parallelogram for example let us say this abcd is your parallelogram it is given to me given that abcd is a parallelogram given That A B C D is a parallelogram, ठीक है And in which diagonals are equal. So A C is equal to B D is given to me. Okay. So they are saying कि बेटा प्रूफ करो दैट इट विल बी अ रेक्टेंगल प्रूफ करो दैट इट विल बी अ रेक्टेंगल सो ऑलरेडी पैरलोग्राम इज गिवन एंड आई वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर रेक्टेंगल पैरलोग्राम इज गिवन and i want to go for rectangle so i have told you parallelogram to rectangle how do you go that if in a parallelogram any one angle is 90 degree if in a parallelogram any one angle is 90 degree i can say it will be a rectangle yaad hai dekho yahan pe bataya tha if quadrilateral to parallelogram already parallelogram is given so parallelogram to rectangle how do you go if any one angle of parallelogram is 90 degree so my aim is to prove that any one angle of this parallelogram is 90 degree 
so let us talk about these two triangle triangle a b d okay triangle a b d and your triangle a c b these two triangles we are going to talk about we will be talking about these two triangles let's see can we prove these two triangles let's see can we prove these two triangles uh, congruent or not okay so first thing i know since a b c d is a parallelogram it will follow all the properties of the parallelogram so a d b c are equal c d and a b will be equal because opposite sides are equal for a parallelogram so i will say sir in triangle a b c a b c and triangle b a d by first thing a b is equal to ab common side right then i can say sir ac nahi then i can say abc ha to bc is equal to ad opposite sides of a parallelogram okay and then last but not the least ac is equal to bd because it is given to us that the diagonals are equal ac is equal to bd is given to us so you can say s s s rule ad and bc are equal ab is the common side and ad uh, ac and bd are equal so by sss criteria by sss criteria triangle abc is congruent to triangle bad and if they are congruent i can say i can say that sir angle abc is equal to angle abc means which angle beta angle abc ka meaning ho gaya this complete angle angle abc that means angle b is equal to is equal to angle bad is equal to angle bad let us say is equal to x degrees by cpct by cpct so angle b i have told you which is angle b and angle bad bad means this angle so angle b and angle a we have got as x x both are equal because two triangles we have proved them congruent okay ab ek baat batao beta since abcd is a parallelogram i can clearly say that sir angle abc plus angle bad must be equal to 180 degree because adjacent angles are supplementary adjacent angles are supplementary so x plus x is equal to 180 degree so 2x is 180 that means i can say x is equal to 90 degree matlab ki this angle is 90 and this angle is also 90 so if i got to know that any one angle of a parallelogram is 90 automatically all angles become 90 degree so i can say now that abcd is a rectangle see i have used the same approach parallelogram was given i have proved any one angle to be 90 degree i have got two angles to be 90 degree that is good more good so any one angle if any one angle is 90 degree all the angles will become 90 degree so i can say that abcd is a rectangle got it so that minimum conditions which are written na conditions for proving it to be a parallelogram and all that is very important that is very important it will give you an idea to think I wanted a parallelogram to be a rectangle. I knew any one angle must be proved 90 degree, and that is what I have done. Got it? So this is how I can say that since in a parallelogram any one angle is 90 degree, it will be a rectangle. So ABCD is a rectangle. Got it? So this is how this question will be solved. Now before I move ahead to all those students who are facing any of these problems about any of these problems. you are more than welcome to join vedantu because these problems are solved by vedantu all the doubts will be taken care of by a dedicated teacher in the class in all the live classes notes and assignments will be provided to you for each and every class which you take on vedantu test will be taken on a regular interval of time that too on your examination pattern competitive examinations like ntse kvpy olympiad no need to go anywhere else all the preparation will be done at vedantu schedule suppose if you miss your class because of some reason you can always feel like you have not missed on anything just watch the recording of the session whenever you want wherever you want whenever you are free 
and be ready for the next class as if you have not, not missed it at all. And then at the end, choice of language that is Hindi or English, whatever is your preferred mode. Other than that, you will be getting unlimited live classes. There is no limit on the number of classes which you can take in Vedantu. You can take as many classes as you want. All micro and crash courses will be free of cost. So crash courses are the revision courses just before examination. You don't have to pay anything extra. You no, no need to pay anything extra. You will be eligible for that. And all the micro courses. Micro courses means chapter specific course. For example, uh, your midterm in your school in midterm also consists of this quadrilateral. And you want to complete this quadrilateral chapter first. So you can take the micro course of that quadrilateral. Teacher will be taking teaching it live. Just attend that course and finish your chapter whenever you want. So you can finish any chapter in any order you want. You can revise any chapter you want. So you will have a freedom to design your own curriculum. Other than that, performance report and personalized attention to each and every student, right? So this is the link vdnt.in slash ytpro and this is your coupon code gpepro. So this coupon code, what it will do, it will give you 15 percentage off flat 15 percentage off on whatever price it is showing. Okay, beta. Chalo. So let's go for the next question. I will tell you more in detail about this course at the end of the class. So next question is show that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other at right angles, then it is a rhombus. What the question is saying? Ki if the diagonals of a quadrilateral, so we have been given a quadrilateral and in this quadrilateral diagonals are bisecting each other at right angles so we have to prove that it is a rhombus okay so suppose yaar, ye paas mein a b c d is a quadrilateral this question is very important okay suppose a b c d is a quadrilateral we don't know what it is and i have to prove it to be a rhombus Ab dekho. since it is given as a quadrilateral and the only thing which we know is diagonals of the quadrilaterals bisect each other at right angles. So these two diagonals are bisecting. That means diagonals are bisecting each other and that too at right angles. That too at right angles. This is kind of the diagonal is given and we have to prove that it is a rhombus. It is a rhombus. So for rhombus we can say sir first quadrilateral we will first prove quadrilateral to be a parallelogram and then parallelogram to rhombus. Right, I can go in that order. And a quadrilateral to rhombus, rhombus to parallelogram. That is how I can prove this part. Now look at this quadrilateral A, B, C, D carefully. Look at this quadrilateral A, B, C, D carefully. Take any two triangle. Let us say I am talking about these two triangles. Which two triangle? I am talking about, let's say this is your point O. So I'm talking about triangle AOB and triangle COD, these two triangles. So I can say, sir, in triangle AOB and triangle COD, by first thing, AO is equal to OC given, okay, BO is equal to OD given and angle AOB is equal to angle COD 90 degree, all are given. So by side angle side rule, I can say, Sir, by SAS rule, triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD. If these two triangles are congruent, if these two triangles are congruent, so what I can say, and let me just erase this part, what I can say, it is just to show you which triangles I am talking about. So first thing I can say, ki, Sir, by CPCT, by CPCT, I can say AB is equal to CD, AB is equal to CD. So one pair of opposite sides are equal. Now we need to prove it parallel as well. So by CPCT also I can say na beta, ki this angle and this angle will be equal. So by CPCT I can also say angle OBA is equal to angle ODC. Hai na? And you can see they are also acting if AB and CD are two sides and BD is acting as a transversal. So these are a pair of interior alternate angle. And I can say if the pair of interior alternate angles are equal, the lines must be parallel. Converse of interior alternate angle theorem. So I can say by converse of 
इंटीरियर ऑल्टरनेट एंगल थियरम अच्छा चलो आई विल राइट इट बिट अप थोड़ा सा ऊपर लिखता हूं ओके सो आई हैव गॉट ट्राइंगल एंगल ओ बी ए एंगल ओ बी ए इज इक्वल टू एंगल ओ डी सी यू कैन ऑल्सो टेक एंगल ओ एस ओ ए बी इज इक्वल टू एंगल ओ सी डी एनी थिंग एनी वन विल वर्क सो आई कैन से बाय कन्वर्स ऑफ इंटीरियर ऑल्टरनेट एंगल थियरम वी कैन ऑल्सो से ए बी इज पैरल टू सी डी तो दिस इज योर सपोज सेकेंड इक्वेशन ए बी इक्वल टू सी डी इज योर फर्स्ट इक्वेशन सो ए बी एंड सी डी आर इक्वल ए बी एंड सी डी आर पैरल वन पेयर ऑफ अपोजिट साइड आर इक्वल एंड पैरल सो आई कैन क्लियरली से हेन्स ए बी सी डी इज अ पैरोग्राम ठीक है बेटा तो फर्स्ट स्टेप क्या हो गया दैट वी हैव गॉट द रिजल्ट दैट ए बी सी डी इज अ पैरलोग्राम ए बी सी डी इज अ पैरलोग्राम Now this parallelogram, I will prove it to be a rhombus. This parallelogram, I will prove it to be a rhombus. So now I know that ABCD is a parallelogram. ठीक है? ABCD is a parallelogram, and I have to prove that it is a rhombus. So parallelogram to rhombus, how do you go? You go from parallelogram to rhombus if you can prove that one pair of the adjacent sides are also equal. One pair of the adjacent sides are also equal. okay so now i know that opposite sides are equal hai na and diagonals also bisect each other it was given to me and the angle here is 90 degree theek hai so i have got it is a parallelogram so now we know that abcd is a parallelogram now i have to prove any one pair of adjacent sides to be equal any one pair of adjacent sides to be equal so for that what i will do i will take two adjacent triangles any two adjacent triangles suppose if i take this triangle and this triangle angle one triangle one and triangle two theek hai so i will say this is point o so let us say in triangle aod and triangle cod dekho why i am taking these two triangles because if i try to prove these two triangles congruent if i can prove these two triangles congruent One thing I will get कि हाँ by that AD and CD I can say equal ठीक है तो in these two triangles one thing I can say OD is equal to OD because it is the common side ठीक है then angle DOA is equal to angle DOC because both are 90 degree it is given diagonals bisect each other at right angles and ao is equal to oc that is also given right so side angle side i can say sir by side angle side rule triangle aod is congruent to triangle cod if triangle aod and cod are equal i can say by cp ct ad is equal to c sorry ad is equal to cd ठीक है आई कैन से बाय सी पी सी टी दैट ए डी इज इक्वल टू सी डी अब एक बात बताओ बेटा वंस आई हैव गॉट वन पेयर ऑफ एडजस्टेंट साइड्स टू बी इक्वल देन आई नो सिंस इट इज ऑलरेडी अ पैरोग्राम ऑल द साइड्स विल बिकम ऑटोमेटिकली इक्वल सो वन पेयर ऑफ एडजस्टेंट साइड्स आर इक्वल इन अ पैरोग्राम वी कैन क्लियरली से ए बी सी डी इज अ रॉम्पस सो From this result, we can say A B C D is a rhombus. So after that, you do not have to write that A D and C D are equal since A D and B C equal C D and A B so all sides become equal. Directly you can say that parallelogram it was. Then you have proved that one pair of adjacent sides are equal. So directly I can say A B C D is a rhombus. Got it? So this is how this question can be solved. It's a very important question from your N C R T. So do practice this question first. Quadrilateral to parallelogram, then parallelogram to rhombus. so these thing which i have started at the starting jo conditions bataya beta these are very important as you can see here the conditions are very important got it let's go for the next question next question kya hai dekho diagonal ac of a parallelogram abcd bisect angle a so this angle a is divided into equal parts show that it bisects angle c also theek hai and abcd is a rhombus okay chalo first part prove karte hai beta that 
it is bisecting angle C also. What they have told? A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. So if A, B, C, D, if A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, I can clearly say it will follow all the properties of the parallelogram. It will follow all the properties of the parallelogram. So A, D is equal to B, C and A, B is equal to C, D, right? So now I can say, sir, in triangle A, B, C and triangle a b c a b c and triangle c d a by one thing a b is equal to c d b c is equal to a d and a c is equal to a c common and these are opposite sides of a parallelogram so which criteria it is by s s s rule triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA and if the both are congruent to each other I can say ki Sarji then this angle will be equal to this angle also right these two angles will also be equal to each other na? ABC and let's say these two angles are equal this angle X le ro, wala bhi X le lo so now I can say by CPCT Actually, this angle, angle DAC will be, ye angle DAC will be equal to angle ACB. Both are equal to x degrees. T A, ye bhi x ho gaya. Then, angle BAC, angle BAC is equal to angle DCA. They both are also equal to x. Theek hai? So, you can clearly see angle dca is equal to angle bca both are equal to x degree so i can clearly say ac bisects angle c ac bisects angle c because by congruency this angle and this angle will be equal this angle and this angle will be equal so if these two angles are equal these two angles will also be equal to each other okay so it is we can say that it is bisecting angle C also it is bisecting angle C as well ठीक है अब बोल रहा है कि prove that ABCD is a rhombus second part के लिए we have to prove a parallelogram to be a rhombus so I need one pair of the adjacent sides to be equal so let us say if it is x degree this is also x this is x degree this is also x correct so now I will take triangle ADC in triangle ADC and triangle ABC. They go both the time corresponding points are changing. Earlier it was ABC with CDA. But this time if it, it is ABC and ADC. So last time this point and this point A and C were corresponding to each other. This time A is corresponding to A, C is corresponding to C. Hai na? So corresponding wise we are changing it. So I can say here sir in these two triangles one thing angle DAC is equal to angle BAC both are equal to x degrees okay DAC is equal to BAC then angle DCA is equal to angle BCA both are equal to x d degrees and in between them AC is equal to AC because it is the common side so by angle side angle criteria I can say triangle ADC is congruent to triangle a b c and if it is true triangle a d c and a b c if it is true by c p c t i can say a d is equal to b c ab ek baat batao if a d sorry a d is equal to a b first two letters na a d is equal to a b AD is equal to AB. So if AD and AB are equal, one pair of adjacent sides are equal, automatically all will become equal. So I can say ABCD is a rhombus. We can say ABCD is a rhombus. So second part also has been proved. Second part also has been proved. Okay. Chalo. So this question was important. Students get confused. So look at the corresponding points. One is triangle A, D, one is triangle A, B, C. 
सो ए बी सी अदर इज सी डी ए तो करेस्पॉन्डिंग पॉइंट आर डिफरेंट ओके इफ आई ड्रॉ द ट्राइंगल्स डिफरेंटली हियर सेपरेटली इफ आई ड्रॉ दीज ट्राइंगल्स तो वन ट्राइंगल आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्राइंगल ए बी सी ठीक है तो ए बी सी एंड ए डी सी हाउ आई एम टेकिंग दम करेस्पॉन्डिंग दैट इज वेरी इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड सपोज इफ इट इज ए ओके इफ इट इज ए बी एंड सी सो हियर इट इज सी डी एंड ए दिस इज द करेस्पॉन्डिंग पॉइंट ओके सो दिस एंगल एंड दिस एंगल विल बिकम इक्वल दिस एंगल एंड दिस एंगल सो यू कैन सी ए एंड सी अपोजिट आर करेस्पॉन्डिंग बट हियर द करेस्पॉन्डिंग पॉइंट आई एम टेकिंग लाइक दिस A, B, C, and here A, D, C. So A, A are corresponding. C, C are corresponding. Got it? So this is how I have got these result. Next question, देखो. Next question is A, B, C, D is a rectangle. अच्छा, there is one more easier way to prove it. बहुत easy way भी है prove करने के लिए. Don't have to go this much into the congruency. Directly also it can be proved. कि sir in triangle A, D, C directly भी हो जाएगा. In triangle ADC, I know if this angle and this angle are equal to each other, so the side opposite to them will be equal. So AD is equal to CD. Direct भी हो जाएगा. So this is actually a long method. Not wrong, but pretty long. है ना long method हो जाएगा ये. Better go for this shortcut. If two angles are equal, just focus on this triangle ADC. कोई भी एक triangle pick कर लो. Two angles are equal, so side opposite to them will also be. Equal to each other. So, from there directly will be. So, this is comparatively long method. You will be more confused. So, to prove ABCD to be a rhombus, you want adjacent sides to be equal. Look at any one triangle. That triangle will be an isosceles triangle. Opposite sides will be equal. Got it? Because if two up, if in a triangle two angles are equal, the side opposite to them will also be equal to each other. Got it? Next question. देखो, ABCD is a rectangle in which diagonal AC. ये जो डायगोनल ए सी जो है बेटा दिस बाइसेक्ट एंगल ए एज वेल एज एंगल सी शो दैट ए बी सी डी इज अ स्क्वायर एंड डायगोनल बी डी बाइसेक्ट एंगल बी एज वेल एज एंगल सी तो वी नो ए बी सी डी इज अ रेक्टेंगल वी नो ए बी सी डी इज अ रेक्टेंगल तो इसमें देखो बहुत इजीली हो जाएगा नो नीड टू गो मच इन डिटेल वी नो इफ ए बी सी डी इज रेक्टेंगल इट इज बाइसेक्टिंग एंगल ए एंड एंगल सी तो बाइसेक्शन मीन्स दिस इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री दिस इज ऑल्सो फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री and here this is also 45 degree and this is also 45 degree bisection so now you can see ki sir in triangle pick any one triangle you want suppose in triangle abc in triangle abc here we know that angle bac is equal to angle bca both are equal to 45 degree so the sides opposite to them will be equal so opposite to this angle a 45 degree we have bc is equal to AB. So once I have got to know that one pair of adjacent sides BC and AB are equal to each other. So in a rectangle, if one pair of adjacent sides are equal, we can say ABCD is a square. ABCD is a square. Second part me diagonal BD also bisects angle B as well as angle D. So now we know that this is a square. Now we know that it is a square. So look. Now, if I look at this triangle over here, any one triangle. Suppose if this triangle ADB, if I look ADB, okay, I am looking at this triangle ADB. ADB, okay. I know AD and BC are equal to each other because it is following what? It is a square. All sides are equal. This angle is 90 degree. Let's say this is x. This is also x. So you can say in triangle ABD, only angle sum property will help you. Angle A plus angle ABD, मतलब x plus x. Angle A is 90. Angle A क्या है? 90 plus x plus x is equal to 180 degree. So you'll get 2x is 180 minus 90 is 90. X is equal to 45. So this angle is 45 degree. This is also 45 degree. Then talk about this triangle B C D. So this is 90. Again by same method, it will be 45 degree. This is also 45 degree. So you can clearly see B D is also dividing them. 
in two equal parts 45 degree 45 degree so with angle sum property also this question can be solved with angle sum property also this question can be solved because we know if two sides are equal the angle opposite to them will also be equal to each other okay this is how this question will be solved okay next question dekho abcd is a parallelogram ap and cq are perpendiculars from the vertices a and c on diagonal bd theek hai show that triangle apb is congruent to triangle cqd and ap is equal to cq so first part is most important second one is can be proved by cpct so abcd is given as a parallelogram theek hai to i know if i have to prove ap and cq if i have to prove ap and cq congruent so i will talk about this triangle apb okay and uh, then i will talk about this triangle c q d these two triangles we are going to talk about so dekho bhai first thing dekho kya kya mil raha hai yaar one thing i can see for sure कि सर जी 90 डिग्री 90 डिग्री राइट देन ए बी इज इक्वल टू सी डी बिकॉज इट इज अ पैरलोग्राम अपोजिट साइड आर इक्वल अब वन थिंग विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड कि सर जी दिस एंगल एंड दिस एंगल विल बी इक्वल नाउ व्हाई दे विल बी इक्वल बिकॉज ए बी एंड सी डी आर पैरल आल्सो एंड दे आर फॉर्मिंग एन पेयर ऑफ इंटीरियर ऑल्टरनेट एंगल तो मिल गए मेरे को पार्ट राइट सो आई कैन से सर इन ट्राइंगल ए पी बी एंड ट्राइंगल सी क्यू डी बाई फर्स्ट थिंग सर दैट एंगल ए पी बी इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी क्यू डी बोथ आर नाइंटी डिग्री देन एंगल पी बी ए इज इक्वल टू एंगल क्यू डी सी बिकॉज दे आर इंटीरियर ऑल्टरनेट एंगल सिंस इट इज अ पैरलोग्राम लाइन्स मस्ट बी पैरल and then the last thing ab is equal to cd so which rule it is angle angle side rule so by aas rule i can say triangle apb is congruent to triangle cqd first part proved and second part is just cpct so i can say sir by cpct ap is equal to cq by cpct ap is equal to cq as simple as that congruency so mostly the topic quadrilaterals questions are solved with the congruency of the triangles but for that the conditions all those things you must understand it very well then only you'll be able to find your approach to solve these questions okay chalo now this is one homework question for you please solve this homework question let me know what will be the answer angles of a quadrilateral are in this ratio find all the angles of the quadrilateral ठीक है बेटा यू टू फाइंड आउट ऑल दी एंगल्स ऑफ अ कॉर्डिलेटर गॉट इट नाउ एज आई वाज टेलिंग यू अर्लियर दैट इफ यू विल गो टू दिस लिंक वी डी एन टी डॉट आई एन स्लैश वाई टी प्रो एंड इफ यू अप्लाई दिस कूपन कोड जी पी ई प्रो सो इट विल टेक यू टू दिस पेज क्लिक ग्रेड नाइन सी बी एस ई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एंड हियर ऑन गेट सब्सक्रिप्शन आफ्टर दैट इट विल शो यून ऑप्शन टू चूज फ्रॉम वन मंथ थ्री मंथ सिक्स मंथ्स ओके एंड हियर विल बी द ऑप्शन टू एंटर कूपन कोड सो हियर अप्लाई जी पी ई प्रो This coupon code will give you 50 per 15 percentage off, flat 15 percentage off, and this is applicable on one month as well as three months as well as six months. Applicable on all three. The important thing is if you will see in case of six months, the price per month if you will calculate so nine seven seven four upon six if you will divide around sixteen hundred something you will get. But if you look at the price for one month after discount, that is two thousand around three hundred. So you can clearly see more benefit you are getting if you are taking the course for no more number of months, and also if you are with us for a longer period of time, you will be getting more time to understand the topic in more detail, in more depth. Everything will be very awesome, win-win situation if you take more number of months. Got it? So this is the link. This is the coupon code. Thank you so much. I hope कि सबको मजा आया होगा. I have been, uh, I have taught this topic in such a way that this first session. before exam must revise it like this video and before examination you need to must revise at least the starting part whole quadrilateral will be revised in this way got it so please share the video with your friends as much as possible and subscribe to the channel thank you so much i'll see you soon bye bye sayonara khuda hafiz to all of you bye bye